Dialogue is by definition two-way communication. Dialogue in science communication is a form of communicating science, but in a way that you allow, that you listen first to all the stakeholders. There's a listening and talking at the same time. It's not just about passing your, your message, but about more about creating meaning and, so, and then sharing that meaning and trying to reach a consensus on some sort of, on some sort of issue. So it's very much against the one-way model of transmission of, of, um, of information, but it's more a sharing of information. The aim of dialogue is that there's a current mood in Europe and internationally to engage the general public and all stakeholders in science and scientific research right from the start. And for that to happen, science is not the only, it's very often not the only voice, it's not the only issue, because more and more science impacts on society, it raises societal and social, political, economic, ethical issues. Now, so the, final, the final aim of dialogue can be to impact on public policy, for example. The decision's got to be made on what type of research areas to focus on, on what type of research funding to, to, to invest in, and so dialogue can be, useful, can be useful for that. But it can also be useful, for example, from a research institute's point of view that wants to raise awareness of its research, instead of just passing on information on what's done at the research institute, it can set up two-way communication with, with the audience, with school children, with teachers, with the general public, with policy makers, so that there's a listening and talking as well, and there's two-way communication. Well, firstly, I think by identifying stakeholders in any scientific area or in any issue, and then um, going out to them and getting them involved in, in the issues. And then it's thinking of creative and innovative ways of getting people to talk to, to talk to each other. Which I say talk, but it may not necessarily be actual physical talking. You can use new media, you can use the internet um, to do that. And really it's just getting away of people communicating with each other and again sharing expertise and sharing their experience. I think it was very important, it was very useful, it was very interesting because at this workshop there were stakeholders with different expertise um, and it was, very use it was very interesting to see people being in a group that was discussing a topic in which they were not an expert and sort of thinking as a lay person, as a non-expert, non but nevertheless providing their input from the knowledge and the experience that, that they have. So, so that was definitely a very worthwhile experience and I think one that's worth, worth repeating. Um, if for nothing else, it, it gives scientists and other experts training in how to talk and how to listen, first of all, and then how to talk to uh, people outside their, their field. From a practical point of view, so in terms of using a simple language, um, but also, and again, first finding out where the others are coming from and meeting them.